All right, hello guys. Today I am going to a concert, so pretty hyped. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do my, my hair and my makeup. I just wanna make sure on my stream that I'm actually live and that everything looks good. So I'm just gonna pull this up on my phone. Okay, looks good. And I can hear myself, so sounds good. So first things first, I am going to um, touch up my like face because I did like a little bit for work but I also need to do a little bit more <laughs> so I already have most of my products on my face but I am going to go in with my like powder foundation here and just kind of touch up everything I didn't put on any bronzer or blush or anything just so that I'd be ready to do all my makeup now so just got off work for the weekend. Super hyped for my long weekend. If you all have a long weekend, enjoy. If you don't, thank you for working. <laughs> all right, just touching up my face here with my L'Oreal Infallible Powder. I'm just putting this all over my face just to make sure it's all looking good. Just blend it down onto my neck a little bit also here. All right, and then we're going to start going in with my bronzer. So I'm going to be using, let me see if I can like tip this down a little bit. I feel like you guys are really high up. So there we go. So I'm going to be going in with my Physician's Formula Matte Manoi Butter Bronzer. It smells like chocolate or something. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> So I am going to go in with my It Cosmetics brush and just kind of give myself some cheekbones here. I do feel like this is like a warmer bronzer because I am going for, I guess, like a warmer look for my face. I guess we'll see how this looks. We'll, we'll just kind of see how it goes. But I already had some makeup on my face from work, so I could not show up to work, like, with nothing. So I already have a little bit of a head start on the face, I guess. But, and a little bit of cheekbones. I saved, like, the bronzer, my highlighter, and my blush for later, just because that's harder to touch up. So figured we'd just skip it for the day and then add it now. But pretty excited. I am going, going to a concert up in Oakland, so it'll be lit. Oakland's always a good time. <laughs> All right, just adding a little bit to my cheeks, a little bit to my forehead, even though I really don't have that big of a forehead. And then under the chin, just to add like a little bit more dimension to my face also. And then I'm going to go in with my little NARS blush and I'm going to just smile, put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks and then just blend it back towards my hairline a little bit more. Let's blend this back towards my hairline. All right, that looks good. I think I am gonna go in with a little bit of my, um, like face powder, just because I feel like I do need to set like a little bit of my face better. So I'm gonna go in with my like loose powder here and just kind of get my like t-zone area just like a little bit a little bit more contrasted a little bit under the bronzer just lighten that up a bit a little bit more under the bronzer <clears throat> this is my laura mercier powder so i'm just going in kind of sparingly because it's a little bit pricey but I do kind of want to lighten up these like key areas of my face just like re-lighten up under my eyes a little bit here just brighten that up before I put my highlighter on and I'm going to put on lashes so that's going to make everything immensely better soon <laughs> but just going in and lightening up those areas a little bit just so that Looks a little bit nicer. And it's like a little bit more bright. And I feel like it covered up a little bit of my eye bags. And you know, makes my face look a little nicer. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, and then I'm going to go in with my highlighter. I'm going with my typical Ofra highlighter here. I do need to do my hair. This is not like the final hair product, if anyone was curious. I'm gonna go in here with a little bit of my highlighter, just hitting the high points of my face. I'm probably gonna do like a little bit more highlighter than normal, just because, you know, going to a concert, I wanna look a little glowy. So just hitting the high points of my face here. Hopefully it's blending with my blush nicely. Basically just highlighting my eye bags, I feel like. But that's okay. And then just a little bit of a little bit of the nose. Although I feel like this is like the first thing to go on my makeup is like the little nose highlight that I do, but it's okay. We're gonna do it anyway. I think it's cute. I don't do any sort of like contouring or like bronzing of my nose just because I feel like every time I try to do it, it like comes out like, <laughs> I don't know, it comes out kind of bad. So I don't do it because I'm just not that talented. But before I do the eyes, hopefully I don't get this everywhere, but to show you guys the fit for this evening. So I have this skirt. This is all from Shein. We love Shein. This literally came in this afternoon. But we have the skirt from Shein, it like ties up the side and then top is also from Shein. So I don't know why the lighting is so much better here than where I have my, my iPad station, but <laughs> now you know it's actually looking good. I'm not just, I'm not just fronting about that, but yeah, it's the fit from Shein. Pretty hyped. It was very affordable also. So now I'm going to go in and do my eyes here. I'm going to go in with my eyelid primer. Just prime these up a little bit just so that my face stays done for this evening. It's funny because in the Bay Area this weekend there's actually like a huge concert and like who I'm going to see tonight is actually going to be at like the huge all weekend concert. I was like wow maybe I should have just bought tickets to that but I don't know. I haven't done like a multi-day festival in a while, so I think I would need to build myself up to that. <laughs> but I'm like, wow, there's like really big names coming to the Bay Area, which is funny. I feel like nothing ever like happens in the Bay Area. And then like all of a sudden, like everything happens on like one weekend. And I'm like, well, shucks. <laughs> all right. I am going to do a little bit of an eye look here. I am going to go in with my Tartlet Toasted Palette, and I'm going to, if I could open it, I'm going to hopefully try not to get this on my top, so I guess I'll like try to lean forward a little bit, but I am going to go in with, I guess, this cashmere shade here, just keep it neutral, just put the color on, this is very neutral the color on the outside of my eye and then start sweeping it over. I will probably touch up the brows a little bit, but they're not too bad. If I have time, I think I'll maybe try to do like some rhinestones on this look. We'll see. We'll see what I have time for. I think I have to leave here by like 6.30 my time. So I have like, okay, doing fantastic on time. I have like an hour and 20 minutes. But I feel like it took me like an hour to put rhinestones on my face last time. So we'll see. We'll see what I can accomplish today. This color is actually, I feel like, much more pigmented than I thought. And I don't know if it's because I had like another color on this brush before or if like this color is like deceptively dark and pigmented. So I am just kind of going on the outer edge here and then just sweeping it across my eye, softly blending it up. I don't know, like, I feel like this color is like not that dark, but I feel like on my eye, it's like coming out darker, which is fine, but I just was not expecting it. I think it's because I, last night before my stream, I was like, I'm going to be streaming for two hours, so I need to do my eyes. So I, like, put on, like, one eyeshadow color and, like, called it good. But I picked, like, a bolder one. So I think some of that was still on the brush. But that's okay. Going to a concert, it can be, like, a little bit of a bolder look. 
I do try to take my color like pretty close to my brow bone just because I know I can go in with like mm, like s'more here <laughs> and just like highlight the brow bone a little bit. Ooh, I went in with the wrong color with s'more and just put a little bit of this under under the brow. All right, that looks pretty good for the base. All right, let's do a couple more colors. So I'm going to, let's just go with cozy. Let's just, <laughs> yeah, this goes for me. Um, pardon me and my cough. I'm not ill. I just, you know, one of those people gets a cough and then it doesn't go away. So I don't know. I just don't. I don't sound wonderful. I sound like a chain smoker, but I'm not. I'm not sick. I'm not a chain smoker. <laughs> so I'm just adding this to the outer portion of my eye. And these colors I do feel like are pretty pigmented because I just went in with it and it's already quite dark here. So I'm just kind of gently push it towards the inside. I don't want too much color on the inside. I want this mostly on the outer part of my eye. Just kind of blur it upwards also. Just lightly. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna go in with like a smaller brush and put this same color under my eye also because I really feel like it ties the whole look together when it, you know, when there's the under eye, I just feel like it, it ties it all together. Okay. That's pretty good on this eye. I think I would maybe just blend this, like a little more of this transition shade in here just so it doesn't get lost. But this eye came out really good. This is typically my favorite eye to do. So we'll see what I can throw together for the other eye. Going in with Cozy and just trying to push this over in my eye a little bit here. Do want to make sure that this is covering a little bit of my eyelid. This will go in with a little bit more cozy here. And just start kind of pushing it towards the inside, but not too much towards the inside because I want to keep that still bright on the inside. I don't want my eyes to look too small because I already feel like I have kind of small eyes. But, you know, part of being biracial. Okay, that looks not bad. It's actually looking somewhat similar here. Just add a little bit more of like an accent to each of these eyes. But this is not bad. As I go in and touch up the eye that I already said I was done doing. I think this one needs a little bit more color. This looks more natural in person, I swear, than it's looking like on, on camera here. Probably should be looking in this tiny mirror that's in front of me. Instead of the mirror that's like two feet from me, but that's okay. People are going to be viewing me from like two feet away. So I want to make sure we're good from two feet away also. Or whatever, six feet. Who are going to be from six feet away, <laughs> presumably. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm going to go in, do a little bit of the under eye color here. Looks good. Just like a little bit of that. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna do what I did on the other eye, just going with the first brush I had with it. Transition shade and just kind of soften the line and make sure that the transition shade is there too. It's blending that. I feel like it's not blending that great, but that's okay. As long as it's there. A bit more over here. Okay, I feel like I took off some of this color when I did that. All right, it looks not bad. It looks looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a shimmer shade on like a thin flat brush here. Probably gonna go in with candle, just this typical color. Put that all over 
my lid. I should be looking in this mirror to see what I'm doing. Not just guessing. I think I am going to try to incorporate some of my highlighter into this look. So I'm just going to put this on like the middle ish half of my eye. And or I guess like do the inner corner with my highlighter. All right. That looks pretty good. I so far don't think I've gotten too much of this all over me, so that's a win. I'm just gonna push my outer edge color, just blur it with the sparkles here. I was gonna say sequins. These are not sequins on my eyes. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the highlighter that I put on my face earlier, and then I'm just going to grab a little bit of that so we can tie in the look and put that on the inner corner and like a little bit blended towards the top. I feel like I always put too much inner corner on, so trying to control that. All right, this looks not bad actually. This looks not bad. I'm gonna go in and Touch up my eyeliner a little bit with the KVD Tattoo Liner, and hopefully I don't do too thick of a line here. But I am going to put on lashes, so it's not going to be too bad. I actually really like the way this came out. That looks nice. Okay. A little bit of liner. All right. Looks good. I think I am just going to do like a little bit of a mascara touch up, just mostly on like the lower lashes, just so that those ones are still there. But just also so there's no like eyeshadow in my upper eyelashes before I put my actual fake lashes on and a little bit of the lower eye and try not to smudge it. Sometimes I like get mascara on my, there's like a sparkle in my head. <laughs> um, sometimes I like smear my mascara, like, and I'm like really on the last step I mess up. Cause then I have to like take it off and like redo some of the layers that I already did on my face, which is annoying. I'm gonna get a little bit closer to my my mirror real quick just so I can see what I'm doing. But I like the way this is coming out. I'm gonna set my face before I put on my lashes too. So I'm gonna take my setting spray that I almost dropped. I think I'm going to try to touch up my brows a little bit and hopefully I don't make it worse. <laughs> but we're just gonna go in with a little bit of my Morphe Brow Pomade here. Just do a little bit more color because I feel like with all the face makeup I did, I did take off a little bit of the brow. So I'm just adding that back in. I'm just trying to have a little bit of like a lighter hand at the front, just so it's a little bit more a nice feathered look. Doesn't look like I have the really sharpie on Instagram brows, I think is what they used to be called. And I'm just adding in a little bit more brow color here. That's not bad. I think I just need a little more over here just so that they look symmetrical or similar enough anyway. Okay, I think that's sufficient. I think that's fine. <laughs> We're gonna go with that. I am going to reset down my brows with my NYX Control Freak just so that all my brows stay in place tonight. Hopefully, I don't have that many natural eyebrows, but it's mostly about keeping 
like the brow color on my face. And then I do wipe this off like on a towel afterwards because I don't, I want it to stay clear brow gel. So got that going. And then I'm going to start heating up my hair curler also so that we can get that part going of the video. And I'm going to set my face now. Trying not to inhale too much of this. I am using the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. I bought it because I had bought their um, primer and I felt like I'm spending all this money on primer. I should have the matching setting spray, but I don't know. I'll, I just feel like I have a hard time with setting sprays because none of them really keep things on my face. <laughs> Just fanning it a little bit here, just so that it stays on, hopefully. It's starting to warm up where I live, but I don't know if it's, if I'll be sweating. Hopefully not. I'm going to try to do, like, this cute hairstyle that I used to do. If I could find my little here okay I do need my comb so I'm gonna part my hair down the middle which I don't normally do because I'm like an old millennial that loves their side part don't come for me <laughs> and okay the first part was better I'm trying to see where the center of my head is it's not there All right, I don't know why there's like glitter in my hair. Like, I don't know why that's happening. Okay, this looks centered enough, I guess. Sufficiently center part of my hair. I guess I should also comb the whole thing very quickly while I'm here also. I hope you can't hear like all the tangles that I'm like pulling out of my hair. <laughs> What do you guys think of the center part? Should I should I be doing my hair like this instead of how how I normally do it? <laughs> Just kidding. I think I think I'm gonna die with with the center part in my hair, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna try to take just like a little section here, and I'm trying to make it look cute. Yeah, like I think that looks good. I'm gonna try to take like a similar front section here and just try to see this looks like a horror movie right now I just try to see if my parts are the same I guess I should just pin this one because I like this one so I'm gonna pin this with like a really tiny elastic Hopefully I don't burn it. So when I used to do this hairstyle, I would like burn the elastics. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe I should have grabbed more hair. Oh, well. But yeah, I would like go in and curl my hair and then I would like burn the elastic off. And I'm like, oh, nice. All right. And that looks like about the same size section. So one more little elastic here. Put this on. Hopefully these end up sort of similar. Right now they're looking not that similar, but because one is much higher than the other, but that's okay. I think this is similar enough because I'm gonna curl like just these little ones and it will hopefully be cute. But I'm going to go in and start curling my hair, yay. I guess I should curl this one first so that it's done and hopefully I don't burn the elastic. It's always like embarrassing when I burn the elastic cause it like snaps and then it's like somewhere on the floor and I have to try to find it. <laughs> I think this is also how I burned my hand one time was trying to do this hairstyle. Cause I was like focusing on too many things and I was like curling my hair on the floor cause that's where 
like my outlets were when I was like living in my college apartment and I just grabbed the wrong side and I think it was doing this hairstyle actually but I think this is cute because then there's just like a little extra at least I think it looks cute I don't know and no one's bold enough to tell me they don't like the way I do my hair that I know so <laughs> works out good so I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna keep this here I'm going to just curl the rest of my hair just like alternating which way I'm curling it so it looks a little bit more natural and it doesn't just form one giant curl at the end. I'm trying to think. I did rhinestones on my face earlier, not really, I guess like earlier in this month and I don't remember if I um, had lashes on or not. I guess I could go back and look. Because I do want to put on fake lashes, and I do want to put on rhinestones. I just don't know what the order of operations is going to be for that. But we'll see. I do use a glove when I curl my hair because I'm, like, afraid to burn my hand. And I do feel like I get in, like, pretty close with my hair. And also, like, after your hair is curled, it is quite hot. Because I do, like take it off of the curler and then I'll hold it in my hand for a little bit so that it like cools a little bit like when it's still curled just so that it doesn't like fall super flat. I feel like I should be grabbing smaller sections. I'm like already running out of hair here. That's okay. All right, I'm gonna take this one. I feel like doing my hair is like the most boring like part of this, but I do really like it when my hair is curled. It's just my hair does not like to be curled, so it's harder it's harder to do because it takes me like a while I feel like to do my hair, and then it just doesn't really last like it'll like kind of last for like the next couple hours and then after that it doesn't so like probably when the concert starts at eight like my hair is not gonna be curled anymore <laughs> but I'm trying to keep out like a little bit of this like end piece just so it doesn't look too like ringlet curly just because then it looks like a little bit more of like a natural curl I guess I think so anyway. <laughs> maybe it's not. Okay, I maybe should have curled in smaller sections, but that's okay. We're here now. I'm just vibing. It's funny when I curl my hair because I'm like looking at like the my hair that's like on here and you can tell like what part of my hair is like my natural hair color and what parts dyed. Because like the really dark part is my natural hair color and the later part is what I dyed. My hair used to be a lot lighter, but went back to kind of more of that brunette look for the winter. Plus it's just like easier to like blend into my natural hair color when it's a little bit closer and less of like an extreme difference. So now these are the front two pieces. Oh no. Like missed my little baby hairs there. So these ones I am gonna make sure I curl away from my face just so that the curl's not curling into my face just because I don't think that looks as good. I do try to hold these ones like a little bit longer in my hair just because I feel like if the front part of my hair looks curled even if the rest is uncurled then it still kind of looks more more curled. I guess I feel like that sentence didn't make sense when I said it, but I feel like the front, if it's cur if it stays curled, it like that's all everyone looks at. They're not looking at the rest of my hair. So also, if like I curl my hair and then the next day it's kind of like falling flat, I'll typically just recurl like the front pieces and then like call that good. But then sometimes I get carried away and then I just recurl my entire head and I'm like, well, that wasn't what I needed to do. But, okay, 
Now I'm done with this side here. So looks pretty good. Looks like I missed maybe a couple pieces, but that's okay. I don't know why there's like something glittery in my hair now, but I'm not gonna try to pull it out because I'm gonna mess up my hair. All right, so now I'm gonna do this little piece here and hopefully I don't burn off the elastic. Sometimes even just like being close to the heat, like the elastic snaps. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I could have done like probably a thicker section of hair in here, but that's okay. Just kind of wanted it off of my face just so that I could like do rhinestones hopefully because I think I'm doing good on time. All right, put that to the back. Start curling the rest of my hair. All right, I'm trying to grab like smaller sections here. Oh, okay, that needs to go with that. <laughs> I can always say I'm grabbing smaller sections as I probably grab like kind of a huge section, but that's okay. And then just trying to alternate which way I am curling each time. I'm watching my own stream on my phone and so it's like flipped from like how I'm seeing it being like recorded on my iPad. So I was like, wow, there's like some pretty serious lag on the stream because I thought it was like still filming me doing this side like based on what was on my phone but it's just flipped but there is definitely a bit of a lag which is annoying but you know that's how it goes like even stuff that's like live I think does have like a little bit of like a lag on television just like in case anyone does anything like inappropriate <laughs> or says something weird <laughs> I'm just holding this curl in my hand a little bit here so that it cools a little bit. So this one I am going to try to wrap the opposite way. I do use a wand curler that's like clipless just because for me like I feel like I started with like a, a clip curler and I would just sometimes have like that little line in my hair and I just didn't really like it as much and wand curlers became really popular um at some point I just like switched to one and I never switched back so I don't know works for me this is like a pretty thick curler though like I think this is like the 1.25 inch or something like that like it's still quite thick like it's not like I have like a really tiny wand that I'm using one of the influencers that I I guess I kind of keep up with she has like really really long hair and she'll curl her hair with like a one inch like um like barrel on her curler and I like had the same curl as her so I'm like oh I should try the one inch one and like it just made my hair like so so curly looking I was like ah uh, this does not look good I guess like if you have like a lot of really long hair like it looks good but it did not look good on my hair so kind of moral of that story is you got to do what makes sense for you kind of regardless of whatever influencer you like is doing I also used to have much longer hair, like, before I started dyeing it. Um, like, I basically would sit down and my hair would be, like, touching my lap. So, it used to be, like, very, very long. So, then I could go in with, like, I think I had, like, a two-inch or, like, two-and-a-half-inch, like, curler and make these really big curls. And it looked really good because I had really long hair. Oh, my part's crooked here. Hopefully that piece was curled. <laughs> But now we're here with a little bit shorter damaged hair, but that's all right. All right, I'm gonna pull these last two sections away from my face. Try to hold out the end piece and then hold this for a little bit longer. I'm also not trying to fry off my hair like those videos where people's hair is just like literally falling off. <laughs> All right, 
hold this a little bit in my hand. Beautiful. <laughs> and last one. I feel like my curls and my hair would probably last longer if I do smaller sections, but that's okay. I feel like I just get kind of bored curling my hair and I'm like, let's go, let's go, like, let's get this through. And then I'm like grabbing like much too large of sections, but that's on me. All right, turn this off. And just cool down a little bit. I got this from like the dollar section or it's like the one, three, five dollar section at Target. And it's just like this little like thermal mat to like protect your, um, like counter from your heat tools. So I'm gonna go in with my hair oil and hairspray for this. But first I think I'm going to put on my lashes and then I think we're gonna try to do a little bit of rhinestones because I think that makes sense. I don't know, in my mind that makes sense. I guess we'll see when I start doing it. If I'm like, wow, that was not the right order at all. <laughs> but I'm just gonna let my hair kind of like relax a little bit just so that it's not super curly so i'm gonna go in with my ardell double up lashes and hopefully i'm gonna get them to stick to my face i feel like lately i've had problems with getting my eyelashes to actually stick to my face like on the inner corner so i'm trying to make sure i put enough of this duo lash glue on the front and then also the end as well. And I'm going to tilt you guys so you can see me put on my my lashes here. Just blow on them a little bit just so that it's a little bit tacky and hopefully I don't get too much like black on my eye look here. So I kind of just place it on my eye and then I try to go in and do the corners, the inner and the outer corner. I do reuse my lashes so thankfully these are like pre-trimmed already to my to my eye. Which is nice. Oh, okay. This one is stuck to my tweezer. Nice. Okay. I'm having a really hard time putting my lashes on right now. <laughs> so. We'll see. Okay. I need to just, like, re-put this whole thing on my eye. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are looking at the back of my head, but I am struggling. Just try to put this on a little bit better here. Try to get this to actually stick to my eyelid, not my lashes. So that's how this is going to stay on. Oh, no, I need to pull them off. Okay, just make sure that inner corner is on there. All right, I think that's sufficiently on for now. I'm going to do the other eye and hopefully it stays. I'll maybe bring my eyelash glue with me. <laughs> At least just like in the car, just to see. So I'm going to put the lash glue on the other eye here. Blow on it a little bit. I think when I like did this eye, like I didn't, it wasn't like dry enough and I tried to put it on and it wasn't sticking. So make sure I blow on this here a little bit. All right, and then after this, I'm going to get my hair oil so that I can put some hair oil in my hair and then 
I spray my hair and then start with like a little bit of rhinestones. I think I actually did the rhinestones first before I did fake lashes, but oh well. I think this will work, hopefully. Okay, my other eyelash did not stick. I have to redo this one. <laughs> So I can see that it is like sticking to my actual eyelash and not my eye. But this one looks good now. I just need to make this other one look good. I think the problem was the way I stuck it, like it was sticking more to my eyelashes than to my eyelid. I try not to like make my lashes look too crazy. I feel like maybe they look a little crazy right now. That's okay. We're going to a concert. <laughs> All right. Try to just place this on my eye, not in my lashes. All right. And get the inner corners down. And get the other inner corner down. I feel like this just does not want to stick to my eye. I don't really know how to fix this. All right. Let me scooch this over a little bit. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I think this one looks, this one needs to like chillax a little bit. All right, now we look good. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my hair oil so that I can do my hair oil, hairspray my hair, and then do like a little bit of rhinestones so I got a little bit of time. So I will be right back. have been procured. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Verb Ghost Oil. I love this hair oil. It's actually like a clear oil. Some of them are yellow. And I guess using yellow hair oil brings out the yellow in your hair, which is not good if your hair is dyed blonde like mine is. I'm gonna just try to smooth out a little bit of my like baby hairs and like flyaways here with this also. There's definitely something glittery in my hair and I do, I don't know. It'll it'll just be part of the vibe. And then I am gonna hairspray this. I'm just gonna go in with the basic hairspray. I'm gonna flip my head upside down just so we can volumize my hair a little bit hopefully. But spraying the front and the back trying to really get the Get the front part so it stays, but I also don't want my hair to be crunchy, so it's a little battle. But hopefully, that volumized my hair a little bit. <laughs> so, we'll see. I'm going to, there's like way too much stuff on my counter, I can't <laughs> focus on what I'm doing here. I'm going to go in with a little bit of rhinestones from this wonderful little rhinestone kit I bought when I. Like made my own like rhinestone Air Force Ones. It's like on my profile if you look. It's one of the VODs that I have. But I'm going to go in with like the smaller ones hopefully and try to do something kind of nice with these. But last time I had a really hard time. So we'll see how this goes. And I'm going to do it with, maybe I'll try using like these slanted tweezers instead of my pointed ones. Maybe that will make the difference. 
I'm gonna go in with clear lash glue also. And we're gonna just see how this goes for me. Oh, and I dropped one. Nope, I think I dropped it in my hand. <laughs> Maybe, I see it, it's on my finger. All right, and now it's on the floor. <laughs> All right, we'll just grab another one. That's okay. There's a whole box full. This came with a little tray. I guess I should put these in a little tray, perhaps. That might help a bit. Okay, I didn't grab any of them. I'm just going to put these in the little tray. And then I figured out when you put these in the tray, like, if you just, like, shake the tray, they, like, kind of line up a little bit, like, all in the little slats oh i definitely just dropped a bunch everywhere okay well they kind of line up so it's easier to just kind of grab the, the top of them okay these are maybe not easier tweezers to use also should have opened up my lash glue that's okay putting on a little bit here but enough that it stays on hopefully just blow on it a little bit i'm gonna tip you guys this way just so i can get in and see my face a little bit clearer <laughs> okay can't see where that one went i think it's on my face oh, no it's not here it is <laughs> losing my mind okay i'm gonna try to put it somewhere more obvious then oh my gosh having a hard time with this already I'm going to switch back to my normal tweezers that I use, going back to the little pointed tweezers. I think this worked better. I don't know how I put these on my face last time. All right. Pulling on this a little bit. I'm going to start like at this edge and then like start going over from here all right one done several more to go this is definitely easier with the pointed tweezers with these tiny rhinestones i don't know how people have the patience to do this but i guess here i am doing it for a second time i'm gonna try to Make it symmetrical. I'm gonna try to put this in the same place on this eye. That looks decently similar. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna hate on me for Marty Rhinestone being slightly off. I just dropped one. I'm also worried that like if I like mess up on the rhinestone, it's gonna like mess up my eye makeup. I don't know that one went. <laughs> Another one. All right, my tweezers are starting to a little bit sticky already. It seems like so that makes things harder. All right, hopefully I don't, I don't shoot these further. <laughs> you need some bigger stones. I have some bigger ones. I just don't like the look of those as much. These definitely are not, are not the same here on each eye, but that's okay. I'm just trying to add a little bit of a bedazzle accent. I'm just, gonna, I'm just trying to lightly bedazzle. I'm like having such a hard time putting my tweezers in these. All right, just a little bit of the clear lash glue. I'm also going to be really sad if I get there and all these fell off. I think maybe if I had like a lower one here, that would, I don't know. I'm just gonna 
this would stay on my face. All right, we're looking somewhat similar. I don't want this to come off onto my hand, but we're looking fun. We're looking very fun. I like this. I think this is a fun look. I guess people can look at me kind of crazy if they want, but I like it. Oh, you can see I'm like glittering a little bit. Love to see it. I feel like I'm not good with spacing them like equally apart, but that's okay. We're doing something. I think it's just going to be such a fun look. I'm going to be like, wow, she must have put in a lot of time to rhinestone her face. So it looks good. Hopefully that's what people say. Okay, I've glued this one to my finger. Try to get this off, perhaps. Come with me. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, this one is stuck on my tweezer. Okay, got it. <laughs> Procured. We're like five, five in and I'm already tired of doing these. <laughs> but it's gonna look good. I'm trying to like do them like along each eye so I don't get tired and like, I don't wanna do the other eye. That one went on really well. It's a little, it's a little far apart, but that's okay. It's looking relatively symmetrical. These ones are definitely up higher than these ones, but that's okay. We're working through it. I just dropped one. All right. Going in with another little rhinestone here. I see why people like generally only have a few of these on their face because this is kind of difficult. I'm gonna try to place this one up higher so that it matches the other eye. Okay, that one's up much higher. That's too high. Like there, maybe. Okay, then we kind of have like similar height there. I don't really know how many of these I intend to put on my face. I guess I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see, I guess, I don't know when I think it's enough. Like some people do like the full like cat eye. I think I'm just gonna do like a partial, I don't know, maybe to like halfway. We'll have to see how I'm feeling. Stick to my face, please. Oh, I'm sticking to my finger. Nice. I maybe should try some of the other tools they provided in here to pick these up. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a bit of a hard time, but that's okay. I thought I like took off one of my other ones at first. I was like, oh no. Things are going very badly. Okay, I see where I'm trying to stick this one and it's not sticking. It's like taking off my eyeshadow there. Okay, hopefully that one stays on my face. All right, it's not bad, it's not bad. I'm feeling very fun. 
very fun. I was gonna try to do like a little V, but honestly, I think I kind of like it just like across the top. Maybe like a little bit of an accent, but otherwise it looks pretty good. All right, if I could pick up my other stones on my finger here. All right. I think I'm gonna try to do like a little bit of the V and then I can just kind of see how it's looking. like removing the other one that's on my face. All right, I think that's kind of cute with a little V. Now I just need to like add some more, but we're working through it. We are working through it. I was afraid I was gonna take off the other one. I think probably should have started with this one that I'm doing now, but that's okay. A little bit of lash glue here. All right, we're almost at the one hour mark for my hair and makeup, which is like generally, I feel like when I'm like, all right, I've done enough. <laughs> All right, add in one here. Just stick this down with my finger and hopefully it stays. Okay, so far so good. All right, now I just need to keep, keep going across, across the top here. It's looking good, I like the look so far. I feel like maybe I'm getting better over time with these. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just getting lucky. <laughs> Hard to tell. Okay, I dropped this one a little bit. Try to see if I can still stick this to my face. All right, that looks good. All right, now we're starting to kind of like arch over a little bit, starting to come together. I feel like even though I have one more Rhinestone on this eye than this eye. It actually looks pretty symmetrical right now. So I'm probably just gonna have like one slightly off. So I think I'm gonna add one more to this eye and then go over here. I right, guess. I don't want this one I just put on to fall off. I'm gonna do one more on this eye and one more on this eye and then see how we're looking. Oh, I just ran into something. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know, maybe I'd want like one more. I wish this was like a little bit lower. Let's push this a little lower. Okay, I don't know if that did anything. I think a little bit. All right, one more on this eye. I think maybe after this one, I'm gonna do like one more on each eye. We'll see. I feel like this is actually relatively comfortable because I'm not putting any of it where my eye creases, so I'm still like able to blink and stuff normally, so. 
that's cool. I don't really know if this is like a rap concert vibe, but like that's okay. I'm about to wear this to a rap concert. Oh, I just lost another one. RIP. I feel like the rhinestones know I'm close to being done and they're like, we're gonna stop cooperating now. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Stick to my face, please. Yeah, I'll just like a little bit. All right, I like it. I think maybe I'll do like one more on each eye. Okay, now this is up a little bit high. All right, I think, I think I'm gonna do one more on each eye and then I'm gonna call it done, like for sure. Having such a hard time picking up a rhinestone from my little tray. <laughs> All right, I'm going in with the glue here. I'm gonna hopefully just do one more in each eye. I don't want this to look too crazy. with my finger a little bit I'm liking it this is kind of fun <laughs> I feel like it also just kind of like a little subtle statement with mine with the lashes because then it's just like barely poking out but kind of like it all right I'm gonna do one more on this eye and then I'm gonna call it good I don't know now I'm like questioning myself should I have done rhinestones or not it's too late. I worked too hard to put these on my face. I'm not taking them off. I just lost one more. All right. Last one. I feel like this is really not like securely in my tweezers though, but we'll see. Kind of like this. I feel like now I should like do some more like under my eye, but I don't really want to do any more of these. <laughs> so. We'll see. Okay, I just glued this to my hand. So hopefully this sticks to my face. I think that looks pretty good. I think this looks pretty fun. Let me try to take you all where the lighting's like a little bit more natural. So this is, I need to do my lipstick. Okay, my hair's a little bit crunchy also. Just break that up real quick. And do a little bit of my I think neutral lip color here. I really feel like I should do some lower eyelash rhinestones, but I am too lazy. All right, I think that looks good on lipstick. I'm gonna smile and see how it looks, at least on me. All right, that looks 
pretty good. Pretty good, okay. So, now that there's a little bit more natural light, you can see what it all looks like. Also put my rhinestones I didn't use back in here. I definitely just dumped some everywhere, but that's okay. I'll like randomly find these rhinestones like as I'm getting ready for work and I'm like, aw, <laughs> sad. This came with red rhinestones. Maybe I should have done red to match my match my skirt, but it's okay. I feel like I need to like set this up somewhere so that you guys can see like the full the full fit. Probably gonna do like a low heel with this, or I might do sneakers. I don't know, but I like it. I think it looks looks pretty good. And then with the face, maybe like less hair in front. The face, the rhinestones, kind of fun, kind of fun. At least I think I look kind of fun. <laughs> so yeah, this is the final concert hair, hair makeup rhinestone look. So pretty hyped on it. Pretty hyped on the Shein fit that came in like this afternoon and ended up working out perfectly. So yeah, this is the final look. Thank you guys for, for hanging out with me and Getting ready for my concert. Hopefully you all have a wonderful Friday and rest of your weekend and I will see you in tomorrow's video. So thanks for hanging out. Bye.